Should we legalize or not? There's a growing debate on proposals to make it lawful to handle and use marijuana in this country. The advocacy has come mainly from Professor Dodu, who has the Ghana Standards Authority. Uh, since then, members of the Rastafari community have backed that suggestion. But there's a warning from the CEO of the Mental Health Authority, Dr. Kwesiose, in the studio with me, by the way, is Kex Pongo, who is the chairman of the advocacy committee of the Rastafari Council. You're welcome, sir. Thanks. Let's see what we can do with the limited time that we have. But you've been talking a lot about the negatives, uh, the, the positives. You've highlighted a lot on the positives of allowing people to freely use marijuana, for instance, even though in Ghana they're still beyond the cultural mindset it is illegal. Tell me a bit, to be fair to your own argument, a bit about the negatives that comes with the use of marijuana. The only negative, that negative aspect of use of marijuana is um, enforcement. When somebody will be arrested, maybe a small, a young, you know, Ghanaian student or maybe 21, 26 years old will be arrested and put in prison for 10 years or more. He will go, he will go and meet all these hardened criminals, armed robbers and uh, murderers and rapists. He will be locked together with them in the same cells and then he will learn all those bad things there already. When he comes out, he's going to be rejected by society because he's an ex-convict. He has a prison record, a criminal record. He can't get visa to travel out of the country. It will be very difficult for him to get work to do. And that youth can become a liability to society. Okay, so for you, that's the only negative um, uh, uh, replications for using... Uh, Marijuana. I, I don't agree with you because we've seen how people have ended up at the mental hospital, people have ended up with psychological issues. Tell us why we should not believe that narrative and rather believe yours. Because there's no scientific proof that smoking of marijuana can land you in mental hospital. Already, naturally, most of all of us as human beings have a little aspect of... Uh, Madness, I would say. Or <laughs> let me just say so. Okay, that I can agree with mm -hmm. you. <laughs> but there are so many people who are mad or insane who are in the mental hospital who have never taken help. Mm, but know. there are others who have also taken help, and we see them on the streets, and sometimes we've seen them. You don't have, you don't have any proof it is the help. If it is the well, help, the doctors have said that sometimes. They, they, if if you go to hospital right now, mm -hmm. any, any, for any treatment, your doctor will ask you if you 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 smoke mm -hmm. in general. You know, so if maybe someone gets this type of problem and they take mental problem, they take him to the mental hospital. By all means, maybe he smokes help. The relatives having the mind already, the mindset already that people who smoke help get crazy. They will just say, "Yeah, he's been smoking help," and then the doctor will document it and say that yes, he's mad because he smoked help. But there's no scientific or there's no laboratory test on that person to show that it was the herb the that he reason smoked. why they, 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 they've yes. gone bonkers but anyway uh, this would have been a very good opportunity for us to have uh, a, a divergent view you know on this so we can increase the debate well fortunately we're unable to do that but it's certainly a conversation that will keep running let me find out from you how far are you with the advocacy so far what, what would you say where would you say you are um We've been, we've written to Parliament and we are waiting for a response. A response. What but did you without, tell them? Well, we've asked them to amend the law because the law as it is now is very brutal to the user. Okay. So it should be amended so that users will not be criminalized. Mm. Also, the government can make, or Ghana can make a lot of Money. revenue, you know, from byproducts or products of uh, hemp. Mm. So... It is better we stop criminalizing it so that we can make more money out of it. And it's mm. also good for the ecology, you know, mm. and the environment. But, but, but people, who, people who, have, who do not agree with what you have said, for instance, I said that in Ghana, people know how to take advantage of loopholes a lot. We have very stringent laws, but somehow people are able to go around it and abuse the law for their personal interest. And at the end of the day, what we seek to achieve, we don't achieve it. So if you're asking that people should, we should legalize uh, the use of marijuana, that people, young people, for instance, are going to go, that's a fear. They're going to go on a rampage, smoking here and there, abusing what, in your opinion, of course, should be something that's healthy. If you go to 
Canadian Senate their final report. That was like two, the, in the year 2001 or 2002. They did a survey, and the countries that are more liberal on marijuana had less less uh, increment in uh, people who experiment than the countries which are more strict on it. So it shows that the trend is not like because it is uh, liberalized or it is uh, decriminalized. I'm not really calling for legalization yet. Okay. I'm calling for decriminalization. Decriminalization. Yes. Okay. So that's your focus yes, at, at the yeah, moment. We, the, the council, the Rastafari council is calling mm. for decriminalization. Okay. So the, the, the Rastafari, I mean, people have this mentality about you, that you guys smoke a lot and even you have ways of mixing the herbs with drinks and wache and things like that. <laughs> what, what, what would be your response to that? Oh, well, as for smoking, a lot of people smoke more than even some Rasta men. A lot of people who don't have dreadlocks or who are not Rasta smoke more than Rasta men. So we smoke too. Not, but not, it's not every Rasta man that smokes. Okay, what do you smoke? Weed the or? The herb, yeah, weed. You smoke the weed, but, but I know that's wrong, right? You know you can be arrested for smoking yes, weed? Yes, you can. Uh, so why, why is it that you guys do, you're, so you guys are basically breaking the law? You see, the Bible told us that we should obey the laws of the laws of the country in which we are. But the laws that are contrary to God's laws or nature, we cannot, uh, you know, uh, obey those laws. In that sense, I'm saying that as long as I know the thing is good for me and the history of it, of it being prohibited, has nothing to do with health. Mm. It was more of economic, uh, racial, and uh, uh, political reasons why the herb was made illegal and knowing the history of the the plant for so many years and i who is taking it what it does for me mm. i i would prefer to be punished for using it rather than to sit down and let uh, be, be attacked by other diseases and other things mm. you know so, so you're not afraid that uh, even once we finish with this conversation once you have admitted you know on tv that you smoke that the police will pick you up you're not afraid of that well, if, if smoking is in the law, if there's any law in Ghana that smoking is illegal, then mm. they but can smoking, do that. But using marijuana is, is, is illegal? No, I think it's possession. Pos <laughs> so if they don't catch you with it, then you, can, you think you can, can get away with it. Yeah. You spoke about what it does for you, which yes. means for, for you is obeying the law of God. Mm -hmm. People, a lot of people will find that very upset. Explain to me the... Uh, the, the process that you go, your mind goes through when you smoke weed, do you know? It reverses you to yourself, okay. you know. It makes you, it, let's say maybe you are even vexed with someone and, and you want to go and do anything wrong against the person. Mm. By the time you finish smoking the herb, your conscience will tell you that it's not necessary. This is what you want to go and do, it's not necessary. So you shouldn't go in for that. So it makes you think positive and relaxes you okay in short i'll say when you smoke herb you eat you, you sleep and then you forget is that so you you eat you sleep you forget you wake up and the problem is there and you meet the problem. problem so that's like a, someone who say that's a coward's way of dealing with issues no, of no, life it is not for solving problem or you are not taking it for the problem which is solving which is going to solve for you is already in your system you understand me Right now, somebody has done you wrong, and you want to go and, you know, retaliate, and then you smoke herb, and then the herb tells you that, it tells you that, don't go and do that. It's not a good thing to do. It's not even necessary to go and do that. And then you relax, and then the next day, it's Life over. Life goes on. Yes, the, uh, the, the, the mindset of going to do that badness is totally over. That's how you feel when, when, you, when, yes, you, when yes, you smoke? Yes, yes. Do you, would you encourage your child to smoke? When he's at the right age, it is very safer for my child to smoke marijuana than to take drugs. What kind of drugs? Marijuana is some is a kind of drug. Uh, that is uh, dis disputable, you know. But I'm talking about drugs like cocaine, cigarette, mm. alcohol. At what know. time did you start smoking in your life? I started around 1977. So that, sorry, I thought you were going to say 19 years. Seven, so 1977. 1977. Okay, I'm not very good with math, but I'm sure someone who do, can do the math for me, even though we should be breaking for sports. That's almost 40 years now. Okay, and how old are you now? 
I am 56. I will be 56 on the 20th of October. So, so you started be, be below the, the appropriate age, right? Which is? Tell me, what is the appropriate age? Because you said when your son at is... At age started. 16, is, you are grown enough to be able to, 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 to smoke. I see. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time, but uh, I'm sure if we should keep on the conversation, it will be a very interesting one. Let me take your very final word on how far you are willing to take this fight. And there are lots of people in this country who do not agree with your views. There are lots of people who will find your views um, awkward, insane even. How, how far are you willing to go with this fight? To the, you know, to the maximum limit. Um, People who think otherwise are just thinking because they are using their opinions. But right now, we are talking about facts, you know. So in this time, facts must resist opinions. Okay. All right. Well, we'll leave it there, uh, but I'm sure we'll have you. It would be good for us to have him and um, uh, Dr. Akwesio say. I'll be I very happy. You'll be very happy. Have you encountered him? Yeah, yeah. we, we had a program on this. He was, he, there was a, a, a phone call. call in, yeah. I think it'll be interesting to have both of you Together, speak. Yes. That'll be very interesting because also he feels Mr. like... Also, Mr. Sapon. Okay, I know Mr. Akwesio Sapon's position. So it'll be good to have you and Mr. Um, uh, Dr. Akwesio say because he thinks that he's dealing with the results of people who have abused drugs. But obviously something you disagree with. Unfortunately, I've run out of time, but I've been having this conversation with Kex Bongo. He's the chairman of the Advocacy Committee of the Rastafari Council. Let's be very clear with it. They are not asking for legalization of marijuana. What they're asking for, he says at the moment, is for it to be decriminalized so that if you are caught using or in possession of drugs, of marijuana, you're not taken to jail. That's basically your, your, yes. your, your call right now. You're still watching The Pulse with me, Gibson.